Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new home. <laughs> this is a 1993 Winnebago that I recently moved into and it's been super fun. Um, I love kind of like that tiny living lifestyle, but it's also come with its share of challenges, one of which has been figuring out how to cook healthy meals with a relatively small amount of space and less amenities than I'm used to. As you can see, I've got a microwave, a stove top, and a small amount of counter space. That's it. Um, I also have a George Foreman grill, which can definitely come in handy. I'd highly recommend getting a George Foreman if you live in an RV. Um, but yeah, no oven, no nothing like that. But we can still make healthy, delicious meals. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I do that. <laughs> we are going to be making a typical chicken dinner of chicken thighs, um, bell peppers, grilled bell, grilled, bleh, <laughs> grilled bell peppers, and rice. So let's get started. So the ingredients I'm going to use here are super simple. I've just got three chicken thighs. I'm making enough for two meals, so I have lunch for tomorrow. Some rice that you can cook in the microwave, some grilling seasoning, garlic, and chopped onions for adding flavor to the chicken, and two bell peppers we're going to be grilling up, and some olive oil spray. That's it. And I'm going to be using this pan to grill the vegetables, and a George Foreman to cook the meat. So here are the chicken thighs, which we're going to start out seasoning. Um, because these are chicken thighs, they come with um, a layer of fat on them. You can choose to remove this prior to cooking, or you can leave it on. Um, that is flavorful and yummy, but um, you know you can cut off quite a bit of the fat just by taking those off. So that's what I like to do. Just go ahead and remove the fat. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this, of course. And that leaves you with this nice little portion of chicken. And I choose chicken thighs because I think dark meat is a little more flavorful, but you can of course use chicken breasts if you like. So I'm going to add some of this um, seasoning, some of this grilling seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on there, and a little bit on both sides. And then I'm going to take my minced garlic, and I like to put a lot of minced garlic on there. Makes it very tasty. I had a friend that worked in the restaurant industry and he told me that people always, the cooks in restaurants always over season things because it cooks off in the process. And I'm going to put a little bit of onion on there so bring out that flavor. So that's what that looks like. In my RV I've got a lot cutting board so we're going to use this to chop up our bell peppers and I'm sure there's a correct way to do this but I just kind of do it my own way I just pull out the cores and then Take these bell peppers, put them in a bowl, then I'm going to put some, again, put some minced garlic on there, so 
So I've got my George Foreman plugged in here and I've also got a grease trap so the juices from the chicken don't get all over the counter. I've also got my pan ready over here. Now I'm gonna take this olive oil and just spray it on the surface of that. And spray it on the surface of that. You can of course just use oil, it's up to you. I like to use this because as you can see it says zero calories. Um, I don't know if that's true if you do big <laughs> big sprays like I do, but it's still significantly less than just using um, big drops of olive oil. So or vegetable oil, whatever you like to use. So we're gonna lift this up and I'm gonna put one of my chicken thighs in here and that'll be cooking and then over here i'm going to show you how you start the propane so here's how you start a propane stove top you've got this right here which starts the gas so you just turn that on i don't suggest doing it like all the way to the top because it might send a little flame so i just stick it like right in the middle and then you've got this button here which lights it. So, ta-da! <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta press that button a few times, but if your propane is full, no problem. And then um, I'm just gonna take my bell peppers and right on there. So cooking on a propane stove is a little bit different than a conventional oven because if you left this up here, you see how the flame is just right in the middle there? So what you need to do in order to cook everything evenly is you just gotta stir frequently. And the whole pan will heat up, but um, the heat is really right here. So you don't want to just leave your stuff there the whole time. Otherwise, you know, these things will be burnt and these things on the outside won't even be cooked. So you just gotta stir frequently there. And um, with bell peppers, you know, I like to cook them about 10 minutes or so until they get a little bit more, um, a little bit more softened. And I, I just like the flavor of bell peppers on their own, so I don't really add anything. But, you know, you can add like soy sauce or hot sauce or whatever you like. <laughs> and then when I'm cooking with the George Foreman, I like to kind of reposition the chicken every so often. So I make sure that it, the whole thing gets cooked. Put that on there and cooking on a George Foreman only takes about five minutes. Um, you just want to you just want to do the typical chicken check, you know, make sure that it um, that it the juices are clear and then you know it's ready to go. So here's what the bell peppers look like when they're done. Um, a little bit wrinkled on the top, a um, little little bit of burn marks on there, but that gives it flavor. Those are ready to go. And then pull our chicken out. So there's your finished chicken. So here's our chicken, here's our bell peppers, and then we're just gonna take our rice. Put about a serving on there. And there is our meal. So let's sit down and try out what we made here. So you probably hear the grill in the background because I'm making the extra chicken. But yeah, here we are. Now the um, rice isn't really flavored, so I'm going to add some salsa verde. Put a little on there, put a little on the chicken. Get that a little mix. A little spicy, so <laughs> it's very good. And our chicken. It does not look good.
Very good. So yeah, <laughs> that was our uh, RV meal. If you are interested in these type of videos, please let me know. I'm happy to make more of them. And I hope you guys are having a great end of your summer.